So welcome to this quick tutorial where we will have a look at how you can create custom VC templates and then use them to issue credentials based on that custom VC template. So first of all, make sure you have the latest version of the SSI kit installed and then we just go ahead and run that. Then we need to go to the signatory API. Here we can open that. And then we will have verifiable credentials and here the templates. And what we will be using is this import command. So first of all, we need to give the uh, credential template a name. So my custom credential. And now we need the body, which is our custom credential. So we can go over here and simply use that. So what I did, I just used the credential subject and provided an ID, first name, last name, and country, which we will be using to issue credentials of and by also providing already a value, so Austria here, for the country, everything which will be issued or every credential which will be issued based on the template will have this pre-filled, but it can also be overwritten, which is quite nice. So let's just go ahead and copy this and go back, put it in here and run that. So, and what we will get back so it was created, that looks good. So just to verify everything worked fine, we can just list all the templates and then search for my custom credential, which is right here. So that worked perfectly. So as a next step, let's create an VC based on that template. And therefore we go to this issue command up here and then we can copy this um, body, so this default body, which will be used for configuring our credential. And the first thing we will need to provide is the template ID, which is mandatory. So my custom credential, which we just called our template. Then we need the issue edit and the subject edit. And there I will just go back and get a list of the dits and just copy this one right here and use it. So provide that and that. And then we had first name, then we had last name, and now we just leave that as is. Let's see what happens. So execute. Awesome. So we get now back our credential, and the country from before was filled in as a default. So, and the nice thing is we could now also add new fields. So. other test and so this will be also would be then added to the credential or we can just overwrite so our country and execute that and we will get back and it was replaced with our value we just provided yeah, so that was it for this quick tutorial, how you can create credential, custom credential templates and then issue credentials based on that. Have a good day and happy building.